Hey everybody, it's me, Super Paul Games, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. I forgot my name for a moment. I wanted to make a quick correction from last episode. So last episode I was talking about the Byzantine Empire and a rebellion. So the emperor of the Byzantine Empire, uh, Basilius uh, Theophilus of Byzantine Empire, is fighting against the Iconoclast Uprising. These guys here, they're like religious rebels. And I clicked on this button before... And I was like, see these little striped lands, lines? These are iconoclast territories. I believe that's an orthodox heresy. But last time I accidentally clicked on this area, I think it was, I think that's what I did, where it's orthodox, and I was like, I'm confused, maybe I'm wrong. When I should have clicked on this area, which shows their iconoclast. So it shows that even the, or not only are the Catholics, but the orthodox are having a big problem with... The, heresies. And part of the reason I think the Byzantines are, are they're losing holy wars, especially against the Sunnis. Because if I roll out, we're still looking at religion, not nation. The Sunnis are pretty damn powerful down here. They are divided into a number of nations, but as a religion, they're pretty powerful. And one of the things that does hurt the Orthodox um, Christians too here in the Byzantine Empire is these white areas are their holy sites. One of them, Constantinople, we hold. Um, another one, Jerusalem, and I don't know what this is, Antioch, are held by the Muslims. So, like, three of, I think, their five holy sites are not controlled by Orthodox people. So that definitely hurts them. Uh, there was one other thing I was going to say before we got to start time going. Oh, I was looking at this guy. And I'm like, why does this guy hate me? He should love me. Uh, he wants the kingdom of Comania. That's part of the reason. And he says, there's high crown authority. And I'm like, there's not high crown authority. So if we look at the kingdom of Comania, we won that in a holy war, in a crusade. So that is all ours. And we have the kingdom level title for that. So Emperor Radigan is the emperor of the Carpathian Empire, king of Comania, and king of Croatia. Croatia is the one that we've had forever. Um, it says 1251, but I think we got rid of it and remade it so that it would have similar inheritance laws to the Empire. I don't remember. So we have two choices. We could either get rid of the Kingdom of Cumania, or we could go look at it. And if you look at the Empire as a whole, low crown authority. If you look at the Kingdom of Croatia, medium crown authority. But if you look at the Kingdom of Cumania, high crown authority. So we're going to lower the crown authority for the people that live in that area there to medium. Uh, that'll make them like us a little less, more, like, hate us less. We'll be able to draw in less of their troops guaranteed, but I have a feeling that's going to pass. And it'll make them a little less mad at us over there. So back to the war, as we fight for these two little areas of the Kingdom of Serbia. If we look at the Kingdom of Serbia, even though we're not going to form the crown for that, we could have already. Um, we're just attacking for those. Because we want to get the whole kingdom... So we can, we're looking at the, the de jure drift now. So we can have a de jure, de jure drift, words is hard, into the Empire. And by that I mean like permanently, where we'll always have a claim on it, or the Carpathians will. The Lords of Comania, that sounds like a horrible porno, has approved the institution of medium crown authority law. So the people there should hate us less. This asshole is still going to be jelly because he wants to be the king, but look, he actually likes us now. Good deal, Leo. I should probably worry about factions a little bit, but... Well, let's look at him. Oh, there's a pretty strong independence faction. Let's talk to this old fuck. Um, we'll award you the honorary title of... No. No. <laughs> let's see. Uh, one of our child's shit pants lacks a guardian. Alright, we will have someone educate him. Exciting! My liege, good news, but during my mission to Sophia, I happened to meet the noble mayor, Kulin Velvez. After promising him not to divulge any of the information outside the realm, he decided to share with me some military advancements he had implemented last year. Enclosed with this letter is a document inscribing them in more detail. That is our marshal, I believe. Yep, our marshal, Sava. So our military tech is going to go up by 50 points. Good deal. Did we get you... Yep. We got him some to educate him. So if we look at military tech, we have more points here. We can't spend them yet. We could spend some in popular culture or religious customs. We're going to wait on that. I'm not in a rush. 
How's the war going? How's the siege going? Two-thirds of the way through here in Zeta. More than that here in Ragugulan. Look at these 117 guys thinking that they can besiege mighty Constantinople. Hmm. That's some ins... Uh, wait. Instantinople bullshit? That's... That's a stretch. Oh, reinforcements! I'm so scared! Oh, King of George is getting his territory um, kind of ramshackled. Let's tell him to send his troops home. I wonder if he's mad at me because his army got killed. Nah, he kind of likes uh, Radigan. He doesn't like that Radigan raised his levies, but, you know, that's what you do as emperor. We've got these armies marching across. Hopefully, our vassal here will retake his land soon so we can end the stupid rebellion against Dookie Head McGee. Mm, Byzantine Empire. We gotta watch them, because these guys right here with the black little line, those are the iconoclast rebels. They are our enemies, but they are still Byzantines. So they're the enemies of the Byzantine Empire, but they're also the enemies of us, because we're fighting Byzantines. Uh, in fact... Yeah, I hope they win their rebellion. I don't know what the rebellion is for, though. Do they want independence? It's just a revolt. They must want in, uh, independence. I, I assume that's what it means. A truce has expired with... Who is that guy? Oh, the guy that owns these territories. Cool. Well, if we ever want to attack him, we can. Oh, we lost a battle. What the fuck? Oh, no. It was in the area we're sieging. Shit. Fucking Byzantines. And we were almost done sieging that territory, too. Motherfucking Byzantines. Well, that's one of the things about the real-time strategy type stuff like this. You take your eyes away from it for five seconds, and you can lose a big army like that. I'm less worried about losing the army. It's more of a pain in the ass that we had almost sieged that territory down. That's what we need a siege to win. All right, let's merge these guys. Miroslav? Who the hell is that? Oh, it's our son! Which one is it? Uh, and it's not Phil. He's the heir apparent. It's not Flash. It's not Kermit. Shit pants. Miroslav, he's in the middle. Miroslav is not satisfied. He keeps asking me for more toys to play with. Why don't you go play outside, you little shit? I am busy running an empire. Uh, Miroslav seems to work so hard that... When he needs something done, he's gained the diligent trait. Good. I didn't even know what he could get for that. It's just like, I'm too busy to deal with that, son. Alright, all these guys are going in to attack these shitheads. How many troops is it? Oops. And we're going to send some reinforcements in the form of our retinue to defend the army there. Oh. Shaman died. We'll put in a new shaman. Don't have time to worry about who it is. Research cultural tech. And let's educate our niece. Oh, that was our ugly concubine, I think, doing that. Don't tell her how to be a whore. My liege, during my work in uh, uh, in Southern Ireland, uh, seems to ha come to fruition by bribing, cajoling, and forging documents, I managed to fabricate a claim on the county of... Uh, de and all my Irish friends are going to be mad. <laughs> Unlucky Charms, on the county of Lucky Charms. I managed to present, that's presently held by the king. Uh, let's see, how much would it cost to use it? 700 fucking gold? Fine. I wanted a claim on that, you got a claim on that. Now, I want you, Chancellor, I want you to fabricate a claim on the title Holy Roman Emperor. Hopefully I remember I got a claim on Ireland. That's for our plan to try and make the whole of Christendom Tangri. By taking it over and installing a Tangri puppet king. Well, it would more be an ally of family member. Well, that unfortunately put us into the uh, the red. It's not really red. Put us into the negatives financially, but you know, you do what you gotta do. When you want to set up puppet religious governments. Ooh, we finished sieging there! Come on, kill those Byzantine bastards. Make up for the army of ours they destroyed. 
I wish this game had notifications when battles started that you could click on. So you could just like be like, okay, here it is. And you wouldn't have the situation which you often have if you have an empire this big, where you can have a big army just die and you don't know about it. Until after the fact. Alright, so we're going to send one group back home. The other armies will stay here to siege there. We're at 32% war score. See how many troops these bastards have left. They're down to 6,000. It helps us that they're fighting these rebels. And we're actually probably helping the rebels, I bet. Because that's less enemy troops for them to fight. 61% in favor of the Iconoclast Uprising. So these Iconoclast religious rebels are winning their war. I wanted to see that. The feuding between High Chief Drizla of the Seducer and High Chief Borgoris of Pax has reached your court and can no longer be ignored, as your vassals both have brought their grievances against each other in hope of garnering your support. Well... This old fuck... And then this guy... You know, you're both acting like spoiled children. Go fuck yourselves. They're both gonna be a little mad. <laughs> I think a Redigan has a right to be mad at these shitheads. You know, he's... He's trying to run this giant war against another empire. And these guys are like, meh, I'm mad. Suck it up, Nancy boys. Uh, why don't we put these guys right here? That will put them in a better spot if need be to reinforce other territories. Ooh, our raiding here is almost successful. Oh, it's going to take a little bit longer. But man, then we're going to be able to raid and steal all their monies. That'll help us out. Victory in the Battle of... There must have been some tiny battle here with local troops. Oh, look at the camels. That's sweet. Can I pet it? I've actually ridden a camel before. But it was like at the zoo. It's not like I was on... Safari in the desert or something. Oh, the Byzantines are, might beat the Iconoclast uh, Rebels. That's a mouthful. That's what she said. Come on, Iconoclast, beat them! Radigan is slowly getting the idea of, Honey, what if we destroyed all heathens? That seems like a lot of work. I don't know, if anyone could do it, maybe Tangri could. Are you having a religious convergence? Yes. I ate my Bible. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't think I meant the word that I was looking for. Uh, I think the rebels lost because it looked like they were leaving. Uh, we won in the siege of Dabar. That's where I go to the drink. <laughs> That's corny. Because it's corn liquor. Ooh, we're pretty close on this siege. It'll be less than 12 days. It might be more than 12 days. Victory at the Siege of... Where? Oh, right here! We're, we're, we're ransacking the castle! Hell yeah! Give us that money! And then we're going for the city next. Burn, baby, burn! Disco Inferno. That should technically be ours, in my opinion. The reason I say that is it's a part of the Kingdom of Croatia. And uh, if we look at the de jure kingdom of... I'm going to look at the duchy, aren't I? If you look at the de jure kingdom of Croatia, and that was the first big title anyone in our family had. Victory at the Siege of Kaliopolis. We are at 44% war score. Uh, we've lost a couple battles. One of those wasn't our fault. They both weren't our fault. Everything's not the fault of the emperor. And he has no allies to call on. It's kind of tough, though. Um, there aren't a lot of Orthodox countries. It's just him. Victory at the Siege of Elts. Ooh, and we're winning against the Rebels. It must be the guy who owned his territory back here. Owned it. Good word. Yes, he retook it. How in the world there are any Rebels left is beyond me. But they're somewhere. It's only a matter of time now. We will definitely beat those Rebels. Oh man, the Byzantines, though, they're making up some ground against the religious rebels in their territory. 60% in favor of Basilius? Uh-oh. No, I want the rebels to win! 
Now, I'm going to destroy you, Basilius Theophil. Well, I won't actually. I'm only taking two of your territories if we succeed. Pretty close on the city here. We can probably speed things up a tiny bit. You got to be careful when you do that, though. How are the sieges here in the east going? Uh, we will take that 500 man army and move them across the river. What is that? The Don. Is that the Don Portage? Is it just called Don? It's like Don Knotts. Victory! We have taken the city here. Who the hell are you guys? Some sort of allies? Oh, you're from down here. How did you end up way over there? <laughs> The Peasant Revolt for Yake is won! Emperor Redigan II of Carpathia is won. Sweet! The Rebels are done! We are at 68% war score against the Byzantine Empire. How you like me now, Byzantines? I can't wait for our next crusade. Hopefully we have another one. There's supposed to be 30 years max minimum between them. Look at the moral authority of our religion. It's 100%. He's like, I'm so popular, honk. Honk indeed. Will this war be done before 1273 is done? Happy New Year, everyone. Wow, man, these modern times of 1273. I don't know what they invented in this year, but something, I'm sure. Wee. How close are we here? We are sieging Hera Heraclea. Is that named after Hercules? Victory in the Ban Banchata. There. <laughs> that lady looks very stoic. She used to at this point. Wait, she's She's married to a relative of ours. They're a relative of ours in the Byzantine Empire? Interesting. I don't think they're Tangri though. What religion is your husband? Oh, you can made him convert. You pussy whipped him to be orthodox. He has abandoned the one true Tangri religion. Man, they see just left and right. We're winning. We're at ninety-two percent war score. My emperor, I'm pleased to report the majority of the population of Olivia. Oh, that's a cute name. Has been converted to the Tangri faith. Great. I mean, awesome. Apparently, I know the difference between a T and a V. I gotta go back to the school. So where the hell is that? Oh man, that's taken a long time because this used to be all Byzantine Orthodox area. I guess they didn't let go of their religion really easily. We are at 92% war score. Well, I hate to do it everybody, but I'm going to have to end the episode here. We're doing pretty good. I would think barring total catastrophe... Um, something like the Emperor dying. I hope that doesn't happen. Knock on wood. I like man wood. I know, you damn whore. That's how you got the lover's box. Uh, barring something like that. Odds are pretty big that we're gonna win. What the hell is... What the hell is this in the middle of France? Did you just declare independence? Do you own this too? Or is that your vassal? From way down there? How in the world? You're Christian. And you took this area in the middle of Sunni territory. Oh, wait, though, that's Catholic. Did you turn it Catholic? And you own a chunk in the middle of France. This guy's a badass. How do you own, like, a little area here, here, and here and survive? It's like I'm a royal badass. What happened to your wife? I don't know. <laughs> She's in prison. Well, I'm off, everybody. Whoa, whoa, wait. Wait. He has the traits. Voice of Satan? <laughs> oh, my God. I've used the power of the devil to take over land. Dude, you need to hang out with us. I mean, they're all, like, evil people anyway, because they're not tangry, so... That's crazy. I want to know more about this guy. I'm off, everybody. Take it easy. Hope your day is awesome.